I really didn't think I could invent something in six weeks. I really thought it could, would take six months or six years even. I definitely had doubts about my ability to invent something before Invention Factory. I didn't even think I'd be able to come up with an idea to invent something. I definitely had doubts um, to invent something since I, I thought I lacked creativity and um, anything of the sort. So I've worked on projects in the past, but I had doubts about working on something as open-ended as Invention Factory. Uh, my favorite part was definitely the ideation exercises that we did in the beginning because I liked collaborating with all the new people that I met. My favorite part of Invention Factory was the prototyping process. My favorite part of Invention Factory was being able to design and prototype my own ideas. My favorite part of Invention Factory was having the only boundaries be practicality and $2,000 budget. My favorite part of Invention Factory was definitely none of that, it was free food. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about Invention Factory was destroying those humidifiers. My favorite part of Invention Factory was just getting the opportunity to spend six weeks on one project and devoting all my time to one thing. The inventing part was the best part of Invention Factory. My favorite part of Invention Factory was hearing the feedback that the judges gave us. It was really, really eye-opening. Collaborating with a partner was definitely stressful at times, but in the end, very rewarding. My partner and I were so in sync that even when she lost her voice for a full week, our communication didn't suffer at all. She was a CAD whiz and I was good at the presentations. Max and I worked really well together, from the quick prototypes that we did in the beginning to the pivots that we had to do along the way. Working alone was very different compared to the other people in the program's experience, but I felt like everyone in the program really helped me, especially the two instructors. I think the most stressful part of Invention Factory was when we were trying to come up with an idea at the very beginning. It was definitely pretty scary when I had to change my idea drastically uh, near the end of the program. The most stressful part of Invention Factory was the final presentation and judging. I thought that Invention Factory became stressful towards the end when we really had to work to get our prototype finished. The most stressful part of Invention Factory was the day before the presentations because we set the bar really high for ourselves. My scariest experience was a week before the final project, we ordered parts and because of a rainstorm, it actually didn't come in until three days before the final project was due. So I was panicking the entire time. The closest thing I felt to um, that sentiment was probably the final day of judging because we had to really prepare for our final presentation and that's just nerve wracking. I felt like the weekly presentations were extremely helpful. In the beginning, it was kind of nerve-wracking, but towards the end, I felt like I was very comfortable speaking in front of people and explaining what I had invented. At the beginning of Invention Factory, I hated presenting to strangers. I still hate presenting to strangers, but I'm much more comfortable with it now. I had fun presenting in front of strangers each week. Every week without fail, we made major changes to our invention based on feedback from evaluators. It was even more comfortable, and it just became routine. Some evaluators objected to the complexity of our design, and so we simplified it. The feedback from the evaluators helped our product become what it is right now. It became lighter, and it became safer. I thought presenting to strangers on a weekly basis was actually a lot of fun. Uh, getting to meet everyone and learning more about their backgrounds definitely helped to have different ideas about our own project. I feel like I'm definitely better prepared to invent more things in the future especially considering I knew nothing about inventing before Invention Factory. I feel that I learned a lot in Invention Factory and I could definitely use these skills to invent something in the future. Invention Factory has made me see the world in a different light. Everything is a problem that can be solved with an invention now. At school, I never really had the opportunity to work hands-on to achieve a goal that I set for myself. Invention Factory was totally different from my coursework at Cooper because it gave me a chance to work on an idea that was totally my own and totally open-ended. This program is different from our academic work because all of your concentration is focused on one project and there are no exams. I really appreciated the differences between academic life and Invention Factory. Invention Factory gave us a lot more freedom to work. My academic work is focused on learning concepts and learning how to make things. Um, I feel this program was more geared towards actually putting those concepts into reality and actually making a physical product. Invention Factory is a lot different from regular schoolwork because I got to focus all my time and energy on one project and I wasn't distracted by other classes. 
The first week of Invention Factory, we could never find scissors to cut anything, especially tape, so we decided that a tape dispenser would be a really good invention. I came up with the idea for my invention when I was taking out the trash one day, and when I got back, I saw this trail of food and who knows what through my apartment, I was like, how can I make this better and prevent this from happening? Tony and I were walking down the street and we found helmets that were just hanging off bicycles, so we thought that we could improve that. We had a problem with losing tools and we wanted to find a way to track them and then bring them all back to a central location. The latest night here at Invention Factory was when I was up until 2 a.m. drafting up the provisional patent application. I never stayed at Cooper past 11 p.m., but brainstorming was a 24-7 affair. Minjun and I worked till past midnight every night. One day we worked till 5 a.m. Our latest night was actually about two days before judging. We stayed here until 12.30, adding the finishing touches to our prototype and really working to secure our presentation. I was always out by midnight. My favorite outing was the photo scavenger hunt because I found it really fun to explore New York with a bunch of friends. Um, I really enjoyed paintball because I felt like I had the chance to really get to know the other participants in the program while inflicting pain on them and getting bruises as well. My favorite Invention Factory outing was paintball because I learned a lot about my Invention Factory peers and their propensity for violence. I believe that the 3D printing skills that I gained during Invention Factory will be really useful in the future. I learned how to use a CAD program called Inventor, which allowed me to model 3D objects and animate them. Learning SOLIDWORKS was one of my favorite skills, and I really enjoyed using the 3D printers. During Invention Factory, I got really good at using power tools, especially Dremels. During Invention Factory, I was taught how to use the laser cutter, which is really cool, and I love using it. I feel like getting to know SOLIDWORKS more and learning how to use the program uh, more in depth is really going to help me in my future. I would definitely recommend Invention Factory to a friend. It was awesome. I would definitely recommend Invention Factory to anyone with a passion for inventing. I would recommend Invention Factory to everyone. I would absolutely recommend Invention Factory to a friend. If you want to make something and call it your own, I definitely would recommend Invention Factory.